here is UAW uh, President Sean Fain. And right now, there are talks that are happening between the UAW and um, you know, their employers, the UAW, the United Auto Workers. And um, September 14th is the deadline for the, a new contract. Um, but right now, negotiations are... In, 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 they're in the thick of them. And it could go either way, but this would be a massive labor action if they were to strike after September 14th. Um, here's the president, Sean Fain, at a Facebook Live event last night, speaking about the struggles of auto workers and connecting it to uh, another lab labor movement happening in the United States. So some people might not think that writers and actors have a lot in common with auto workers, but we do. Auto workers are fighting to maintain our standards and win job security in the transition to electric vehicles. Writers and actors are fighting for the same in the transition to streaming. And all of us are at war with corporate greed and with companies that are prioritizing profits over people. So from Detroit to Hollywood, employers are using technology and new products as a smokescreen to drive down wages and working conditions. That's why I want to say to the writers and actors on strike, the UAW stands with you. Your fight is our fight. That's awesome. I and, mean, I think and that's clarifying the, for a lot of people. This guy is like Magneto. That's the, he this scares is, the crap out of me. I'm terrified of this guy. In this a good is, way. This is the most important message that can be stressed about this current time. Is like that what, because you see this even from like the sort of like MAGA communist uh, idiots online, like teachers and Starbucks workers. You, you, what you want a union what you think you're you're like working in the mines or something like that it's the same thing if you are a or earning a wage under a capitalist um you should collectively bargain with your fellow workers and uh, think uh, and also the workers in other parts of the economy and we're all in this together and to emph like to get that emphasis and to see like union presidents do it and i think like i think the uh the seg after uh, and, and folks also see that too although like i think they're a little bit embarrassed to say like oh we're also we're like you uaw just to, to, to have like the auto workers say like yeah in the reverse exactly yeah. to like you know bring them in like that is extremely I mean, that's that's the most important thing to look at um i think and to make people understand is that hey if you work for a boss if your life uh, if you paying for uh, uh the essentials that sustain your life if that comes out of a check that you uh, um get from serving a capitalist um you deserve more it doesn't matter if you're a background actor or a or a, a character actor it doesn't matter if you're an auto worker or a ups driver or a mail carrier or a flight attendant the struggle is this when you flatten when, this is this is a situation where it's okay to collapse the context a little bit because when you flatten this out if people are extracting your labor from you for capital that you are not receiving the same proportion of that they are receiving it more from not doing that work they are receiving more of that from not doing the same requisite amount of labor you are and they're getting that cut and you're being and you're being screwed over as a result the solidarity and the desire for better conditions and the desire to fight that, that, that is the common denominator. Oh, yeah. I well, mean, because it goes to feed. Go ahead. Em. No, no, no. It, it really is all that matters. It, I it, mean, it, it, that is the, it is the, the bosses and the workers. And like now I think people are starting to understand that just because you don't have, you know, you don't have grease smeared on your face doesn't make you a worker. And if you're the person that thinks that it thinks that way, like, like we're workers, right? We're yep. workers. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I, I think like, you know, it's starting to seep into the public consciousness is the point. There's the people that actually work to build society and there's the people that are parasites on it and people like uh, all the crypto scammers, um, like Patrick Bed David, all the people that are like, you need to, in or Jim Cramer, like what's this going to mean for investors? It's like asking like, hey, what's this dog uh, going for a run mean for the like bed, uh, the uh, fleas on it? Like, like they need to be shook off. Yeah. Um, and the idea that like these people take anything like for like the idea that we need investor class at all, I think is 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 ridiculous. Like we know that none of the like those people don't beat the market money allocation the investment like they they're, it's all bullshit just seeking profit yeah and it's profit that again it goes to when when people that um buy and sell 
uh, tell people who actually do the make the things and move the things that are being bought and sold how much they deserve. That's parasites dictating to the actual productive members of society. Yep. What we're seeing is not just a, a hot labor summer, but a mass... Un, uh, uh, class consciousness a, a cla- I was about to say, class consciousness, um, like a, an enlightenment. Yep. And, and that's it. Like, like, and every cent that goes to somebody who sat on their ass and got it because they owned something is going to be a cent that they either use to fatten themselves or to hire PR um, uh, professionals and union busters to make sure that they get more of that money into their pockets. So, like, whether it's uh, the, whether it's the parasites in the in Hollywood or parasites uh, that are investing into like transportation and infrastructure, all the parasites need to be uh, you know uh, poisoned, and all the actual gains need to go back to the people who are actually doing things.